Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Prey. Last time we entered, uh, well, this area, the Psychotronics Division, that we were kind of ambushed by, well, not really ambushed, but talked to by December, which seems to be another operator AI that wants us to escape the station instead of blowing it up. Um, at first, I would think that December is the bad guy. The December is controlled by the Typhon, just to keep the Typhon alive, but on further reflection, it might be the other way around as well. I mean, leaving the station could uh, allow maybe people from Earth to help us out and let them at least know what is going on. Escape pod key. Wait, did I forget about that? Okay, there's clearly something in here. There's something going on. I'm just gonna check. Okay, so the escape pod key is just on the other side. What is going on? That's not something. But there's clearly a mimic running around here because it made noises. Made some of the. Cr oh. Okay, so there's definitely an area in the middle here. Hmm. What is... Is something making noises? Okay, so I have... I don't have enough space at the moment, but I feel like I'm gonna get ambushed in a second, so I'm just gonna take the pistol. Oh, it is! Ow! Will you please... Will you please... Are you serious? Okay, I don't I don't know what you guys saw, but I felt like I hit it multiple times, but at least I will be able to now eat some stuff and get rid of some inventory. Although I would prefer to not do it like that. Um a petri dish sample. Ah, I can't actually take that. Okay. That was bullshit. I even shot it with the uh, at least I know that doesn't work. Shooting it with the glue gun doesn't just give you the benefit of uh, exposing a mimic. And apparently it's really, really fidgety to fire at as well. I'm just gonna eat another uh, lemon here. Uh, the moonshade lemon. That's gonna get us back to full and I can take the burn circuit. So auto Lauda. It's another corpse that we found. And now we need to climb out of here. And now we can move further. I am running out of pistol bullets, but I know I can make those. Which is not a problem at all. I have the equipment to do so. Hmm. Those are always suspicious as well, but they don't seem to be moving at the moment. Can I? Nope. Don't have the key code for that. Okay. What the hell? This game can be really creepy sometimes. It's just making weird noises. And we need to go to something called Guts. Well, one of those is going to have to be something, right? Bump! Okay, nothing happens. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm a bit on edge. I'm recording in the evening for once, which is probably... Part of why I'm so on edge, which I do apologize for, but there's clearly something whispering in here, and it's starting to get really, really loud. I'm gonna take the shotgun. Oh, there's that. Ooh. Um, um, did it close the door on me? No, it didn't. I'm just gonna... Can I use the pistol to fire at the Mimic? Where did the Mimic go? There it is. There it is. There it is. It turned into that uh, toilet, piece of toilet paper. But, shotgun? Oh god. Moving. Oh. 
There we go. There we go. Taking care of it. The shotgun packs a punch. It did hit me, however. It kinda did a dash move. It hit me straight in the face. I'm just gonna keep the shotgun handy for now, because I'm assuming I can one-shot mimics as well. Oh, there's way too much toilet paper in here. Be careful. Okay, wait, the, what the hell is that? A psychoscope is mandatory beyond this point. Put the psychoscope down. I don't have a psychoscope. Do I need to go in there then? <laughs> is there twitching? Is there twitching? Don't see twitching just yet. I'm gonna... What the hell was that? Was that the effects of leverage one? That was weird. That made that much noise. Okay. Okay. I think this should be the other side then, right? Wait, I'm walking in circles. We're not. Wait, I'm confused. So they have the same type of area on each side. And this is the other... Yeah, this is definitely the other, the other area. Whoa. Well, that's something. And there's another corpse there. Give me a second. I'm gonna grab the corpse. Alison Brady. I can take all that, I'm assuming. And more of those psycho stem packs. I'm just gonna reload. I know this isn't Call of Duty. I probably shouldn't reload every single bullet I spend, but what the fuck is that? Is it still alive? Um. What the hell just happened? I think it jumped into the light? Okay then. This is totally not creepy at all. The mimic tumor. It's still making noises and I'm pretty sure it's in the light. Um... Hmm, do I want to take that Mimic Tumor? Should probably have something to eat left. Yeah, there we go. So I can eat... Yeah, the coffee. I'm gonna eat the coffee. There we go. And then I can take the Tumor. What the hell just happened? I know they can transform into items, but this is something else. It just jumped into the light. So there's a hole down there, which is... Apparently... Ooh, there's a giant wall. Ooh, there's a medkit down there. A giant wall of glue gun stuff. But can I enter here? I'm assuming not. Hello? Psychoscope required okay. beyond this point. Okay, so that makes sense. The the signage set as much. So we need a psychoscope. Whatever that may be. So let's drop down. Take the medkit. And we saw light falling down down so i'm gonna assume that that's not a mimic oh what the game said mimic why did the game say mimic i don't have my wrench equipped either because you know what let's swap out the glue cannon with the wrench for now although i can just equip it right now I can just equip it and that would allow us to... I can actually just carry that crate and then just... Throw it. Oh god! Oh god! Well, that one's dead. Did I kill both of them? Hmm. I don't trust that. It felt, it felt like one just flew past me. Hmm. Did I kill both of them with one shotgun blast? Or what the hell? I think I did. Although the number of corpses doesn't make sense. The number of corpses doesn't make sense. So I feel like something else happened. Just gonna reload that. Shotgun is pressage, pre precious, pre pre pressage. But I have no ammo left for the pistol. One more mag and I just panicked on that mimic. 
Um, that was a frozen mimic. Uh, ooh, he has a psychoscope. Think. Okay, fancy new equipment. The psychoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neuromods, it's the most important tech on Talos 1. Use it to scan the Typhon organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. Oh, great. Look at your psychoscope with R3 to mark and scan nearby enemies. Scanning Typhon reveals new abilities you can acquire by installing neuromods. Okay, so that's where those come from. Mimic detection gen 1. Allows detection of hidden mimics. Okay. Install that. That sounds great. That's amazing. So I can install chipsets on the psychoscope? Oh. Uh, I can carry three neuromods. So how, how does that work? Like I just look at stuff or... Live specimen required for scanning. Okay, so I can use that if I find another... Mimic. But I need to clear up some inventory space because... And that's why this frozen mimic was here. I could have scanned it like that. But um, I'm able to use one of the suit repair kits. Uh, the broken cooler fan is actually worse. So start with dropping that. Then I can take the neuromods. The neuromods I can use to unlock skills are right here. So now I have three more categories. Energy, Morph and Telepathy. But all of them are locked because I need to scan Typhoon. Which is fine, because the first one I wanted to unlock here was extra space in my suit. Which allows extra inventory space and installation of two additional chipsets, which is awesome. Yes. There we go. So now I can just pick back the stuff I took up from the floor and take everything. Did that actually add an entire new row? It did, I think. I think it did. Um, but I can actually also... Dismantle this thing. And that gives us another uh, spare part item. Which is up to 32 already. So we're going to be able to repair a lot of things. But now we have the psychoscope. So we can do this and start scanning stuff. Scan complete. More specimens required. Okay, more specimens required. But that was a mimic that just stumbled down. There we go. My very few pistol shots left allowed me to take one more shot at a Mimic. But that's pretty much it. One more and I'm out of bullets. Just gonna look around. This is awesome. Now I don't need to be scared anymore. Now I don't need to be scared anymore. But we needed to... Su oh. My reticle was turning red. Oh god. Scan complete. More specimens required. There it goes. And then we can actually shotgun it. Oh what? Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna turn this back on. So we killed the phantom. I felt like he took more... Um, more punishment than the other ones. At least I thought the shotgun actually did more damage than that. But I might be wrong. I might just be wrong. Um, actually turn this off for a second. I am gonna take the lemon thing that he was holding. The shaker lemon pie. Let's see that. And we did scan now a phantom and a mimic. But I'm assuming we can Psychoscope scan multiples. Beyond this point. Yes. The contamination in progress. So it's required. So I probably need to turn it, keep it on while I'm going through here. Live specimen required for scanning. But that's a human. I think they might actually start being more... I should have put this creative with their mimic placement. Now that we can actually detect them. But I'm actually going to check out those abilities now. 
So we did get Kinetic Blast, create a psych physical blast that deals up to 50 damage and pushes away anything within 5 meters of the targeted area. And then Kinetic Blast 2, up to 75 damage and 6 meters of the targeted area. Okay. And Morph, camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. That is cool. So we can actually become objects ourselves if you do that. But I don't, I feel like the other skills are more... Hi. Complete. This thing just jumped in my face. Calibrate. Hi. Was that really necessary? It's really creeping me out. Okay, should probably t keep this on. So, a tradition sample and you another mimic tumor. But you're just bumping into me. I'm not bumping into you. I was standing still. Okay, elevator. First time we actually take one of these. can't make you stay put, but you're gonna die down there if you don't listen to me. You need to calibrate your psychoscope. Try scanning the Typhon specimens around you. Once you get enough scan data, the labs will open. More importantly, you'll be able to install Typhon-based neuromods. You'll be unstoppable. That's what this is all about, Morgan. You spent three years of your life making it possible, putting what they can do into us. You've just forgotten. Okay. Kind of makes sense. Okay. Alien Research Typhoon Ability Research Kinetic Blast. Kinetic... Wait, what? Kinetic Blast available. Yeah, but we, we already made that available. Already did that. Good. What the hell's going on? to a safe and direct the Kalstrup's office. I certain these hidden neuromods there. Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. Do that, maybe you'll live long enough for me to see your face again. Okay, Alex. Seems like he's one. He wants to help us at the moment. Not that I trust his face. Oh, oh. Ah. Okay, that just takes the lid off. Okay, so there's more where that came from, and I can scan all of them. Weakness, glue, immunity, EMP. Kinetic Blast 2 available, we knew that already. And then this guy... Is there anything in there? No, this one seems to be empty. And they're turning off by themselves, okay. I'm just going to take a quick look around, because there's a few things strewn about. So they research Typhons to learn ability, psychic abilities, basically. And put those in the neuromold system that they've built. Well, that we've built. That Morgan built. Which is cool. It still doesn't explain why you wouldn't just be able to send the, that data to Earth. Leave the the station and blow it up because I mean the Typhon are all over this place right now I don't see why you would save the station if you can't get rid of the Typhon otherwise hmm. so there's windows here as well I'm gonna have to equip my wrench to take care of that there we go and then there's that electric panel but I probably can repair that I'm gonna have oh Let's scan that Mimic. It's probably in that case. Yeah, there's a glass case there. Mimic Matter available. I know, game. That was already available, I think. And then whack this as well. So, I am going to use the glue gun now. Wait, can, can't I? Oh. I can't switch guns when I'm at the using the cyclescope. Okay, that was weird. I'm just gonna repair this thing. Oh! Repair, 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 Oof. What the hell happened in the meantime? 
because I hear heard a lot of noises behind me. Okay. And we have another corpse. Calstrap's cabin and Calstrap office. So those are two key cards. Aha! And we have a recycler over here, that's also nice. So there's a mimic in the Wait, what? Oh. Um I can probably Oh, I think I got it. I think I shot it to Kingdom Come. There we go. The anti-rats, I can take that. And then we have the fabricator again, so that's good. That's good, because now I can actually make some more pistol bullets. There we go, that's 30 more of those. And let's do that again. So we have a nice batch of bullets again. And then I'm gonna default to the pistol again. That's gonna come in handy. There are noises, but I don't think I should worry too much right now. So let's transfer all the junk. It's a bunch of that again. Let's recycle it. And there we go. More stuff for us. A lot of exotic material apparently. But I don't know what I can make with that just yet. Probably those psycho stim things. But yeah, Mr. Kalstrup himself is dead. But Alex said that his office should contain more... Hmm. Ah, probably in here. 2289. So, two, oh, oh, two, two, eight, nine. And now we can take two more neuromods and a neuromod fabrication plan. Morgan, a warning. If you scan enough Typhon organisms, you'll be able to install neuromods that are powerful, but they're the reason we're in this mess. For one thing, the station's defensive turrets will identify you as an alien threat. There might be worse consequences I can't yet see. I don't want you to lose yourself. Okay. So I feel like she might have a point. Um, I'm not going to use any of those abilities just yet. And just see what I can do with my normal abilities. Because I just got two more new remotes. And I just want to check which ones I should go first so the psionic aptitude is probably something i don't want to check out so the rest is going to be hacking and repairing and since i'm actually on this higher difficulty i should actually focus on health stealth and combat efficiency along with being able to repair and upgrade my weapons a lot more efficiently as well so i think engineer and security will be my most important skill trees because otherwise I have necropsy to get th that stuff out of Typhons. But if I'm not going to use those abilities, then I don't need that either. So this is good. I have a bit of space now. Space that I can work with. I have plenty of healing items left as well. And I'm at full health and suit capacity. So good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. I might even need to make some more... It's a pistol ammo. Um, but let's check this out here first. Because Hans Kalstrup had two uh, utilities. So allow access to the conference room. Oh. Well, that is cool. And then archival footage. Video retrieved from deep storage and ready for playback. Director level authorization confirmed. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh. First contact. First contact with what exactly? With the Typhon? What are we looking at? So they're in space and there's an object. Oh. A mimic flying through space. And he was attacked immediately. And it went straight through his visor. So somebody was killed immediately when first contact, okay. Then the second video, Weaver, five years later. What the hell? So there's a mimic, oh. What are they on? Okay. They're on some sort of object, but they're actually fighting each other as well. Okay.
And he exploded? What, oh, what the hell is happening? So... Whoa! Okay. So if a Mimic is killed by another Mimic, that happens? That is interesting. And then we have the emails. Time to talk from Alex, our esteemed colleague. Dr. Galagos is posing a problem. Let's talk via Looking Glass ACP. Tokaji's in injury from Elizabeth Bay. Patient Tokaji in insists she got her hand caught in a piece of machinery, but her wounds show evidence of bite marks, human bite marks. Someone bit her finger off. When I asked security if they could find the finger so I could at least reattach them, they said the machine had ground them up. What is going on? Telepath rejection, full report still pending concerning the last experiment with whatever that is. The Typhon Psy Psychocrates initially evidenced interest in the subject, but then failed... Oh, so the boss, the Typhon boss, but then failed to colonize subject's mind. Developed a strong aversion, in fact. Experiment halted at 5 one thirty minutes at MU's requests. So Morgan's request. 37 sent to recovery, while 37 has a history of psychological instability. The event seems to have inflicted additional trauma. Both Morgan and Alex have agreed that 37 should be held until we can determine the origin of 37's peculiar resistance to the Typhon Psychocrates. What the hell is going on? And then again to Kaji and 37. Per your request, Dr. Takaji was sent to trauma. Her fingers could not be recovered. As isolated under the continual watch, security will perform regular checks on his physical condition. Wait a second. So, it was Takaji that lost... Dr. Takaji that lost her fingers, or his fingers. But, Takaji and number 37 were in the same room. So, I think they were trying to get mimics or at least typhon onto humans on purpose and that just made alex even seem more even worse well not just alex actually us as well so there's definitely stuff on the higher levels as well should just check should just check so we're back here there is a room at the end here so i don't know yeah yeah the operator is still creepy so there is this, containment access calib- Okay, yeah, we did the calibration, so we can go further. But I am curious as to what is up there. Can I get up there? I feel like I can, right? If I just use the glue gun over here. And then I get over here, okay. So it's definitely in here. There's something else here. Oh god. Whoop. I'm just gonna switch over to the shotgun. Nope. Okay, got it. Helen Barker comes. Okay. And that's probably why the operator is so creepy. If I would have installed the psycho mods, they would have seen me as a threat. And she would have started attacking me. That is cool. It's a cool detail, because of course you wouldn't think about the details because I think he would have probably have time to do it while Alex was his doing his uh, speech before January actually warns you about the fact that it's probably not such a good idea and then you would have been fucked because you can't turn that back I'm assuming there are a lot of bullets here which is nice I'm really glad I came here sorry if that was a jump scare I kind of spooked myself um, so didn't get to scan the phantom there, but at least, like this was sure. There's stuff dropping from the ceilings even. 
Like this at least for certain that... Ah, that's a turret. I can research the turret. Research complete. Okay. But I can repair that thing. Uh, repair. There we go. No type and material detected. Indeed. I'm never getting into further labs. Okay, I'm gonna try to do as minimal scanning as I can because I feel like this is uh, more of a disturbance when you're watching this and it's gonna be handy for me. Um, there is a way of getting it in there. So, turn on the psychoscope and then can I fire at... Okay, that, that doesn't do anything. Let's just equip the wrench really quickly. Uh, square is still equipped. Oh god! Oh god! That psychoscope is annoying! So the turret is taking care of the mimics. Which is really good. It doesn't allow me to scan them anymore, but at least... There we go. Hold another mimic. There we go. I think there were at least three. But there might have been a fourth one. There were a lot behind that wall. Just turning that off for a second. Ah, there's not a dead one here, so I'm assuming that was a fourth one. And I actually missed a corpse. Hello, Evan. Evan Avery. Sorry about that, buddy. Sorry about that. I could have probably turned this hallway, well, this, this pipe into something else. So that's, again, the same video. Just quickly going to take a, a look around. There we go. Just going to try and do that as much as I can. The transcribe of Annalise Gallegos. Oh, that's the one we were the email was talking about. Hello, Dr. Kelstrup. I wanted to follow up on my request to view one of the volunteer abdication contracts. Anna, you're supposed to be off today. I had some free time, so I thought... I've already told you, the VACs are sealed documents. My hands are tied. But isn't there some allowance for the researchers? My God, I'm sorry, I need to disrupt this. Look, I understand. I really do. It wouldn't be human if this was easy. I just want to be sure. Believe me, everything we've done is perfectly legal. That's because Talos 1 is in extranational space. There are no laws. Anna, you're tired. It's affecting your judgment. Now, I've tolerated it for a while, but enough is enough. You need to take some time, understood? Oh, God. Yes, Dr. Kelstrom. I understand. Good. Ow. Oh, look, you may be late for a meeting with Alex. And now... There we go. Pistol does it. I did take a, quite a few hits, actually. And I missed most of the script to transcribe there, but... I, I think we're fine. They were talking about... Uh, you know what? Can I actually check that? You sure about this? Not too late to flush it all out in airlock, you know. I'm sure. Are you having second thoughts? No way. I'm in. It's just... I'm not the one incriminating myself. There's no happy ending for me either way. I'm trying not to think about it. Sorry. Did you make arrangements? Mitchell's on board. He's gonna bring me food. I don't need to know the details. Better that way. It has to happen on your next rotation. I put everything in a package labeled Mementos. The package is in my cabin. It's got to go to every media outlet imaginable. Got it. And Quinton, be careful. Security is already scrutinizing me more than usual. So what happens here then? Because I feel like um, Annalise was trying to expose what was happening over here. There's actually a mural here as well. Introduction to survey, but what's this? Oh, wait. It's probably on her computer then, because I don't think I found the package. Although it might be in the transcribe, or it might not be relevant for me at all. Uh, that phantom kind of got me by surprise, because I feel like the turret should have actually dealt with that. But it didn't. Give me more bullets though. Ah, the turret was destroyed. Wait, ah, okay. And I feel like I can hear another one running around. Yeah, there's another one over there. I can probably... No. There's no new data because I've already scanned it. There we go. 
And then... There we go. Whew. That actually went down pretty quickly. I felt like it was already damaged because of the turret, probably. So those phantoms were there to ambush me, but the turret took care of most of them. I'm actually gonna take a sip of uh, whatever the hell I have. Ah, probably this. Gluck assists. Gluck assist is nice. Nice and healthy. So, can we hack this computer? No, no passwords found, but I can technically hack. I've never done this, but I can check this out. The hacking skill allows you to bypass security systems protecting keypads, workstations, and security stations. At higher levels, you can hack into robotic systems such as targets and operators. To hack, use L to quickly navigate the bitstream to reach the target. Once inside the target, press the prompt button to complete the hack. Ah, okay, so I'm here. Ah, so it's bouncing me back. There we go. Okay, there we go. So we hacked into Annalise's station. Remember your mission. The volunteers' Transtar senses are irredeemable. Sociopaths sentenced to die for their crimes. We are neither judge nor jury. We only enable their already ordained destruction to the benefit of all humanity. Read the file on 13 if you need assurance. It's unlocked in the extraction lab. Okay. And I'm an idiot. I managed to lock my morgue keycard in the morgue. Kelstrup thinks I'm an imbecile as it is. Have any ideas? So that gives us the location of that key card. But also, that Annalise didn't really agree with the fact that apparently Talos was a station where criminals were experimented on. Which is great. Okay, so apparently we've been in here, but did we... Did I open that up? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, we've been here, we've been here, okay. So, but now I can probably go to the other side, because there... We saw a phantom walking around there before. Okay, and this is a staircase that's broken, so that's probably the normal way to get up here. Instead of me making a, a fancy glue cannon uh, staircase to heaven. 